The Free State uh, DDG in the Premier's office, Mr. Fender, has been on the stand since yesterday. What he's basically spoken or given context to is why this particular contract, the Freda Dairy Farm project between Astina, was drafted within the Premier's office, mentioning that there was a need to safeguard or to make sure that uh, contracts were properly drafted. But coming to today, uh, he basically spoke extensively on how a 99-year lease was concluded with the STINA as well as the provincial department. That particular land in question and where all the controversy set to have taken place, where the 100 black farmers were not uh, benefiting from this particular project, uh, it was actually owned by the Pumelela municipality in the Free State, in Freda to be exact, but it was later ceded or uh, given over to the provincial department, who then gave it over to Estina on a 99-year lease. What was quite odd about this particular lease is that when anything is leased that you will know whether it's rental or whatever there's some form of remuneration that you get for that but in this particular situation it was a 99 year lease with no form of uh, remuneration that was going to be sought he mentioned that uh, when he found out was made aware that such a lease had in fact been concluded a year after he found out in 2014 he began institution uh, instituting a cancellation uh, or trying to cancel Cancel this particular agreement in which Astina agreed but requested or submitted invoices for some work done and the particular uh, provincial, um, uh, provincial government had to then pay Astina. Now, Cindy where we do know that after the break, uh, some beneficiaries are going to take the stand. I mean, what can we expect for the rest of the day beyond that? What we can definitely expect from the beneficiaries who are going to be taking the stand is something as vocal as what Mr. Nguenya was before he passed on. We know that a particular beneficiary has been vocal from when the news broke that uh, the Freda Dairy Project is uh, gone south as opposed to what it was supposed to be. We have already seen two or three of them there in attendance. But in terms of their testimony, we can definitely hear how they were recruit, uh, recruited for this particular uh, initiative and if in fact they were ever contacted posted uh, there's some allegations that they were uh, recruited by requested to come to a hall and their ID numbers taken down and no feasibility study done to assess if these people were in fact farmers or able to farm and the likes but we're going to hear firsthand from some of them who have been mum post-2014 uh, in this regard to say what exactly uh, they were told, who exactly lured them into the project and what has happened since then. All right, our reporter Cindy Siwe Twala, of course, uh, outside the, uh, st uh, the uh, State Capture Commission of Inquiry, which is also currently taking place.